we have always been a friend to Ukraine. We will always be there with the necessary supports. Uh, and uh, we look to continue to do that. Uh, today, we're making a significant announcement of $120 million loan, which is uh, one of the top things that the Ukrainian government has been asking uh, for uh, from Canada. Uh, the conversations that our foreign minister had with uh, Ukrainian officials, including the Ukrainian president, stress that. And we're happy to be there to uh, reinforce the resilience and the strength of Ukraine's economy faced with Russian destabilization, including economic destabilization. It is extremely disconcerting to see the buildup of Russian troops, to see uh, Russian aggression, Russian cyber attacks, uh, Russian economic destabilization of Ukraine. Um, this is something that nobody uh, in Europe or around the world wants to see right now. And we are using all tools to try and encourage Russia to de-escalate, uh, to solve this diplomatically, uh, to not uh, proceed at an engagement, at a, uh, an invasion, a further invasion uh, of uh, Ukraine territory. Uh, that's why uh, we continue uh, to stand strongly diplomatically in sanctions, but why we also continue uh, to have Canadian troops uh, in uh, Ukraine as part of Operation Unifier uh, to continue to ensure that the Ukrainian military is able uh, to stand uh, uh, strongly in any, uh, in any incursion or invasion by uh, Russian forces.